Hello and welcome back. I'm Kyle Sadler, president of Precept Wealth Management and best-selling author of I'm Retired, Now What? and The Retirement Shift, now in an updated edition. A person's legacy cannot be measured by one solitary event in his or her life. Rather, legacies, like lives themselves, must be measured as a whole. If you've ever taken a step back and examined your own life and legacies, what have you found? Do you feel comfortable with what you'll leave behind? Does your retirement income planning include having enough for legacy planning? How do you want people to remember you when you're gone? More importantly, how can you make sure people remember you in death as you were in life? Estate planning has become an important tool in deciding how your life's work will be viewed. Without it, the courts will decide who gets what. With the proper planning, you decide the individuals or charities that will receive your assets. By enlisting the help of professionals in law, accounting, and myself for investments and insurance needs, you help ensure your planning is done properly and efficiently. A small amount of education will give you a better idea of what you'll need to do. So let's take a look at it. First, think ahead. Before preparing the most crucial documents needed for estate planning, it's important to sit down and decide who you'll put in charge to make medical and financial decisions for you. You'll also want to decide who gets what. Picking out beneficiaries and an executor or executrix of your estate are two of the most critical decisions you can make. If you have younger children, it's also important to decide what would happen to them in case of an emergency. Next, know which documents you'll need. In general, it's recommended that you have a will, a financial power of attorney, a medical power of attorney, and a living will. These documents will designate who will make decisions when you're gone or if you're alive but unable to make important choices regarding medical care or finances, these documents care for that. Your power of attorney will make your financial decisions. Your medical power of attorney will be the person you put in charge of medical decisions, while the living will describes the type of medical decisions you want your proxy to make for you. Additionally, survey your finances. Make sure you know what you owe when you die, which may include probate. By keeping tabs on your remaining assets, you'll be more prepared. Lastly, be ready for anything. Boy Scout motto. When planning for your estate, you must be prepared in all areas of your life, from medical to financial decisions and everything in between. It can be an uncomfortable subject, especially when you involve your family in the planning. But by working with me, I'll make sure that your estate is covered from all angles. In the end, you want your legacy to be stable and solid. So let me take you on the first step by creating a personal analysis at no cost for clients to make sure your retirement is clear to both now and in that future. Having a plan can help tremendously and make changes can be made uh, and changes can be made more easily. So let's work together. Call me at 281-973-9290. Again, that's 281-973-9290. Oh, and before we go, please 
go down and uh, hit the like button and subscribe by hitting those beautiful buttons below. Thank you very much and have a blessed and beautiful day.